How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to Construct 2, programming our puzzle platformer from If Else Learn. I am so excited that you are here. I've been playing a lot of puzzle platformers recently and it's been really fun to make our own and I'm really excited to show you what we have in store for you. So here is what we're going to be making in the first few lectures. This is our test layout to actually just test out some logic, add in our player controls for our gamepad and the keyboard, add in our cool look ahead camera, some player animations, and that really cool landing effect. Then we're going to go over here to our door and our transition effect to get into our level one layout. So already done for you, you have royalty free art assets to use in your game. After this, if you wanna use these assets, you are allowed to do so, but we have these assets given to you so you can actually make uh, your level with this. Also, there's a pre-made level file that I recommend you download in the next lecture so you can just jumpstart right in alongside with me. So here's the puzzle that we're going to make. I'm not going to try to spoil much. This actually, when we put this crate onto this pressure plate, we're given a little bit of extra jump height here so we can go over here. We also have these really cool camera zoom zones that happen automatically to really zoom in and zoom out for emphasis. We have this push-pull block just like this. And now I'm just going to solve our puzzle real fast. I'll have to push this off, which creates this multifaceted combo lock that I'm pretty excited about. And we can come down all the way over here. Our camera will zoom back out. And then we have this. We have this wall and we have this pressure plate that we can't do anything with. Our jump height is back to normal. It was only for that one pressure plate. So we have this cool hidden area that we've actually unlocked by, by putting the crate on the other pressure plate. Let's go over here and drag this without pushing it too f close to the spikes there. And we're going to drag this to this pressure plate and we are going to unlock our door. Now I'm going to try not to get hurt, but it's actually pretty good that I did because now I can show you that we have in-game death, and once you actually die, then you can actually restart the layout with a nice transition. Let's do that. Plus, we actually get decapitated. So that is our puzzle platformer. I'm really excited to get started. I hope you are as well. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started.